Hey everyone, it's me. Who else would it be? And Penny. She's like, and what's yeah. up? I'm here too, folks. <laughs> this is my co-chef today, my assistant chef, Penny. Maybe we should get her a hat. <laughs> Speaking of which, thank you, whoever sent these. I still have no idea. And we got our first Happy Hatter Mail in our P.O. box today too. It was from like December, but you know. We don't check it very often because we usually don't get anything. So I decided we were going to make this, but we were going to hatter it up. The Herbs de Province chicken with the Pampered Chef seasoning. I don't have the bag or do I? Oh, I do. I'm a liar. I'm sorry. There's not that much left. <laughs> because I'm like literally after I got done making the video with the spices. I grabbed some chicken breast that we actually had in the fridge, not thighs, breast, and I marinated it for two days, and Josh was so kind to chop it up so I don't have to touch it. So, and instead of regular rice, I'm going to use this cauliflower rice with mushrooms, and we're going to use, instead of, does this have broccoli? This doesn't have broccoli. Huh. It has zucchini, cauliflower, carrots beans, lima beans, and red peppers. So this is going to be very veggie full. That's okay because the other one had like Asian vegetables. Yeah. So I feel like this Italian blend goes with this yeah. better. Like yes. it'll bring out the flavor profile better. Yes. And then I have some cheese and maybe some cream cheese. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. We're just kind of winging it. So you can go along for the ride with us. Okay, so first off, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. Little tiny, little tiny bit of olive oil. Just a little. Okay. <laughs> okay. start cooking this chicken up. Hey, will you give me a little bit of water? It could be bottled or non. I'm gonna put a little water in here and put the lid on so it cooks thoroughly and quicker. Try a little bit because then it'll steam it. Get it all mixed up with the oil so it gets that. I think I could put more water in here. This is barely even coating the bottom. There we go. Put that right there. Put that lid on there. But really, there's no prep work today. It's all very, uh, there we go. I was like, where do I put the chicken? <laughs> the chicken touched spatula. So, yeah. Um, so what other kind of stuff would you like to see? I don't know. I'm not used to cooking so much. And I think I've said that before. Josh usually cooks, but it's shifted a little bit since his hernia and stuff. So, um, so cooking's not new to me, but it's something I'm getting familiar with again. So, once I, once I start to feel better, uh, <laughs> I'll start I'll start doing videos of me barbecuing. Ooh, smoking. Hey, smoking. My thing is I like to cook outside. Yeah, we have two smokers. An electric one and then a fire one. And then um, we have a grill. And then we have... Another grill and another grill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's kind of sad because none of it's been used in a while because he's just been recovering. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you know, like, I know I posted some stuff, like, just know, and I'll repeat this again, like, y'all don't have to re react to people who are hating on our videos, it's cool, like, honestly, and I know I sound like I'm just puffing up when I say this, looking at Josh, <laughs> um, 
like their comments don't bother me like seriously like I don't know them they don't know me a lot of it wait hold on okay a lot of it is just like assumptions in their heads like and things they make up and you know if they feel the need to take their animosity for themselves out on me you know I can do that for them I'll be their therapist you know they can scapegoat. yeah I can be their scapegoat that's cool I mean Apparently they can't afford therapy so they need to take their aggressions out somewhere and if they want to take them out on me, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm just like, comments are comments. They boost their alg the algorithm, you know, I don't care. And it's funny because some of them don't even like watch the videos, they just like make comments off the top of their butt. <laughs> I hope YouTube doesn't consider butt a swear. I don't even know, man, anymore. I, I, can anyone keep up with these new rules that they're doing? Like, it's crazy. Like, if you swear in the first eight minutes of a video, it can't be monetized. And really, you, you shouldn't be swearing at all, but... Wow, that chicken's cooking fast with this water. And the steam. Look at that already. Just make sure it's well cooked but not too cooked. That's the hard part for me. Yeah. You can smell the lavender here. No vision. <laughs> Man, we're in trouble when they, they have that. I know, right? <laughs> so, anyways, I was just watching this video and I commented and then like people started going after me. Like, it's hilarious. I thought I don't get, like, what is with people? Why do they have so much hate in their hearts? Like, imagine if we focused all that energy into positivity. Love, helping others, instead of, like, pretending we're helping others by leaving rude comments under their videos and telling yeah. them to lose weight. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was somebody else's video. It was, um, Obese to Beast, or Obese to Beast. And he was doing a video on um, a friend of mine that, uh, you know, is a very sweet woman. She has a YouTube video or a YouTube channel on here, um, Hungry Fat Chick Candy. And, I mean, I've never met her in real life, but I've known her 12 years. You know, we've exchanged messages. We've talked, you know. And once we lived in Vegas at the same time, unfortunately, we were both with butt heads. So, you know, we didn't meet because at that time I was too depressed to even live or leave the house or anything. And then, you know, he got this apartment that was like three stories up. So, yeah, it was a very down point of my life. Anyways, so we've never met in person, but we've talked. You know, I consider her a dear friend. I, I love her to bits. And they were talking about her and I you know I was like don't be such an ash yes I said ash because I'm not trying to get in trouble that's what these haters do okay so Chantel if you see this and you don't want like I don't know how to explain it like I don't know if all this is real or not I feel like it's real but some of it could be played up for views. Because I know, like, Nick Akato, if anybody watches him, I, I know. I see it. That boy has lost weight. And I know he was saying that, I, I mean, nobody's that outrageous in person. Or, for real, maybe they are. I don't know. Max kind of was. <laughs> um, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um... What I was going to say is, I know a lot of his stuff he plays up for the camera. And he's been known to say that once he turned 30, he was going to reverse the way. And I've been watching him on this other channel and this podcast that he's on. And he doesn't seem as outrageous as he is in his own videos. And even his recent video that he posted, like, what was it, today? I think he was a lot calmer. He ate less. <laughs> and he looked like he lost 
like a substantial amount of weight. Like I can see the difference in his face. I don't know. Did I show you the video? Yeah. I think he looked a lot yeah. thinner in his face, and like yeah. even body wise, he looked smaller. Okay. We're not gonna microwave this. We're we got cauliflower rice instead of regular rice. We're doing like a low carb kind of thing today, or at least attempting. I know these aren't really great. Well, it's like four grams of carbs, which isn't like, but it also isn't as bad as real rice. So, and it's another veggie. So, I'm gonna stick that in there and let that steam up because they are frozen. Let's see. So, a bag of this with two chicken breasts. Yes, that was only two chicken breasts. They were big. They were feeding them steroids or something. Yeah. They, I mean, I, they probably were, sadly. Okay, stir this up a little. I'm going to add a little more water and some butter. But, uh. That's not that good butter. Oh, no, I, I think the mesquite would, uh, conflict with the, the Herbs de Provence. So anyways, you know, I like, I'm sorry I lost the plot here. So like, honestly, the best thing to do with haters, like, is either agree or just like, don't let them bother you. If you feel yourself making, getting roused up to make a response that YouTube would not like, take a break. Come back later. Ignore it. But sometimes I like to play devil's advocate and I comment back. And they were like talking crap and they're like, oh, you 800 pounder. And they said it like three times. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, they're that unoriginal. They have to keep repeating the same thing. So I'm letting my haters know gotta try harder. I posted a short today talking about that. <laughs> Come on now. And I know I've said this before. You just gotta try harder. Like nothing anybody on the internet that doesn't know me is gonna bug that they say is really gonna bug me because like I've said before I've probably said worse things about myself. My father's probably said worse things about me. My aunt's probably said worse things about me. My ex has probably said worse things about me. And guess what? I knew them. <laughs> Anyways. So, you know. And most of what they were saying was talking out their butts too. You know, and I was like, well, you know, if it makes you feel better about yourself to leave mean comments and be a bully, you know, go ahead, take it out on me. Whatever it does to make you feel bigger and better about yourself, you know, because I know that you're in that much pain that you need to lash out on randos on the internet, like, that you know nothing about. And I'm like, you know, and if you open your eyes and I took the time to, like, look at my channel, you know, you can go leave all the hate comments you want on my squat videos and my weigh-in videos and my weight loss videos. Well, I mean, I'm not, like, losing weight on purpose. And I'm not on this goal to, like, lose a million pounds overnight. Like, what happens, happens. I'm not pressuring myself because, you know, I'm comfortable with myself. And I'll be comfortable with myself smaller, you know, like, or I won't. You know, like, if I don't lose weight, I'm not going to feel pressured because of society's standards. So, the status quo, I'm not going to, like, sit there and hurt myself to make some person I don't even know on the internet happy I don't know like it's just ridiculous so yeah they well you commented back so that means I hurt you ha 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 like I'm boosting dude's algorithm what are you talking about so let's see if I'm supposed to put any seasonings in here yeah, I'm supposed to put an onion nah is this chicken broth do you think we need chicken broth should we put like a, a or something or not? Nah? I mean, that's more sodium in my eyes. 
this. Or do we have bone broth left? Um, yeah, I think we've got a can or two of the bone broth. I don't really feel like we need to put that much in it. It says salt on top of chicken broth. Like, hmm. That's kind of crazy. Just let that sit here. It's on medium now. But yeah, like, I was like, you can go leave hate comments on my videos. I'm okay with that. Because <laughs> I am. The more comments, the better. So, I don't know. I just talk about this because I came to a point in my life. I used to take a lot of, and I used to internalize it. And it made me hate myself. Okay, that looks good. That's just way, since we're not actually cooking rice rice. Yes, get the protein in, babe. <laughs> okay, that should be good. And it shouldn't come out soggy in the end once everything's. But, you know, I internalized it. And it brought me down. And then I realized it's not about me, it's about them and their feelings towards themselves. Like, I don't understand why somebody just existing could irritate somebody so much. But the thing is, the world thrives on hate. The, the world thrives on drama. And I know YouTube is the world. You know? <laughs> it's part of the world. And these people don't understand if they just stopped focusing on what they hated and focused more on helping and what they love, the world would be such a better place. Like, there's so much division in the world, and it's just sad, you know? So, I don't even know if any of that made sense. I just wish everyone could focus on their own stuff and focus on their own lane you know and just take things as they are YouTube is entertainment right yes I mean and learning learning education. entertainment education comedy you know vlogging if you don't like somebody you don't watch their channel yeah. if you don't have money to go to school you can learn how to do anything from YouTube pretty much I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can learn on here, but like, just go find someone else's channel to watch if you don't like what somebody's doing. If you think someone is a POS, then don't watch their channel. Yeah. Like, it's really that simple. If you don't like the way somebody looks, look the other direction. Pretty look much. At somebody else. Right? I mean. Like, I feel like my channel is proof that people just hate fat people to hate fat people. Like, <laughs> even Candy's channel. Like, Candy is so sweet. She never has any harm in her heart. They hate, they hate people different than them. Yeah. It's like, she doesn't have any hate in her heart. She's a sweet woman. You know, like I said, go check out. It's mukbang. So if you're not into eating, don't watch. <laughs> you know, but... She talks and stuff too. It's nice. I'm not really too into mukbangs. I know I've done some, but that was reviews. Um, but I like the ones where people talk and it just feels like you're sitting down and with a friend. And, uh, you know, she has no ill will in her heart. She's not rude to the haters. Um, she's just a really sweet woman. And people hate on her. People freaking hate on her and it's like what the hell you're literally only hating on her because of her size there is nothing about her personality so all these people who are calling Amber and Chantel names disgusting names animal names stuff like that and then they claim it's because of what they do yeah no you're just hating on people because they're fat I'm sorry you can delude yourself but I see you. On their own. Right? And it is hilarious because, you know, that person was like, oh, you can't even stand up to cook. Okay. Are you telling me something I don't know? 
<laughs> because all this time I have deluded myself into thinking that I'm standing here cooking the whole time. And plus the angle is weird, but I'm not blaming the angle. I'm not using excuses. Yes, standing that long is a little harder. But also the angle sucks because that one day when I was standing and I had the camera, you couldn't really see me and the food. So, you know, which, there you go. <laughs> But well, they can't see you. Nope, still not. There's a hand. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh -wee. Look at all those veggies. Yum. You know, like they they thought they were doing something there. Like the person with the pigtails. The person commenting on the pigtails. Like, imagine being so disappointed in your life. That somebody's hairstyle bothers you that much. Like, I just imagine having that much hate in your heart. <laughs> Anyways, like, what is so wrong in your life? I don't know, man. I don't know. But I, I used to be there. I used to hate people. I used to talk about people. I'm still a little bit of a troll. I really am. Um, honestly, that's what, like, a lot of my comments and, like, my posts and stuff, I'm trolling trolls. And if it gets views, cool. <laughs> um, but I used to hate, use my internalized hate and take it out on other people. You know, and I'm, I'm still, because, you know, I've got the borderline personality disorder. I'm like, oh, I've got the, <laughs> and I still have moments where I'm like, look at that ear. <laughs> She's just waiting very patiently yes. for me to drop something. But, you know, I used to take my hate on other people, and I still have moments where I'm like, oh, blah, 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 blah. But I take a breath, I calm down, I breathe, I go do something else, and then I come back and I'm good. You know, should we use this or not? Okay, we'll just use that cheese. That cheese. And then there's still some vegetables. Oh, that smells good, too. Mmm. And then, this is going to be a very Italian -y. No. <laughs> a very Italian. With the vegetables and the herbs, even and all this. Oh. Let me add the cheese and then put the lid back on chickens I cut up a couple pieces of chicken with the, the spatula to make sure it was done in the middle and it is just mwah. anyways so let me get this cheese sharp cheddar and then turn this down put it on simmer but yeah just 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 be just breathe try to be a good person it's you know Try not to do any harm. It happens sometimes. I mean, everything offends somebody. Everybody, everything hurts somebody. But don't go out and do it on purpose. I guarantee if you say the same, something to a hundred people, somebody's going to be hurt or offended. But as long as you didn't intend to do it, and you actually apologize and try to make it right. You're better than most people. Because nowadays accountability is such a, a rare thing. People get mad at you for calling them out on their actions. And I'm not talking about like on the internet. I'm talking about real life here. Like people who get mad. I don't know. I mean I'm sure it's like this in other places I've never experienced it as much as I have here that like say somebody like robs somebody or beats somebody up or steals something or does something they're just not supposed to do and then somebody calls the cops on them and then they get mad and their family gets mad and it's like so we're just like letting people do crimes around here and 
not caring like it's this is this weird mentality or something like or I mean somebody I used to know like when I would hold them accountable for their actions this is a total narc thing when are you gonna hold my pants against me? Um, that was like five minutes ago. Or I was hating because I was wanting them to be accountable for their actions. I was a hater, this and that. It, it's crazy. The world's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Like the fact that these people go online and speak such horrible, despicable words, and they ain't even got faces in their profiles, like pictures, nothing like that. No videos, or they have videos of their kids. Right? Exactly. See? Who say they're even their kids? Oh my God, that's that's a scary thought. That that's kind of frightening. And look, pigtails, just for you. <laughs> um, I was getting hot under there, but uh, you know, like, it's just so sad. Not, I, I don't care, you know, if what's her face wants to get mad at me because I'm gonna say this. Like, how does her daughter feel when she's on the uh, on the internet bashing other bigger girls? She's probably gonna be like, get my daughter's name out your mouth. <laughs> but I feel like that comes from a place of guilt because she knows what she's doing is wrong and she knows it's probably hurting her daughter's feelings. So, you know, and she's still on there. And I, whenever I try to point out to people, hey, if you're going to attack somebody for their character, attack them for their character. Don't attack them for their looks. Don't attack them for their weight. But they can't stop doing it. And then they say, oh, it's not about that, though. Make it make sense. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, so today we had a, a nice day other than that. It, actually, that wasn't even not night yet. Well, you know what I mean. It was just something on my mind that I wanted to talk about. Because it's something that's always on my mind. Like, I wish people would just love each other and just help each other and be good people. Yeah. Like. <sighs> One love. Yes. One love. But we had a good day, you know, like, I got things done. We went to the PARK with Lola and Junior. This one went for a WALK, right? No, not yet. Not yet? After dinner? Yeah. Okay, so she's going to enjoy that. And uh, we took some video for you guys. It'll be up eventually. And, you know, Mom's worker came to work. Yay. Late, but, she came. but she came so yeah let me see if these vegetables are mom done let's see maybe a little bit longer so I'm gonna put this lid back on so it can steam up and get a little bit softer but uh, you know, we had a good day. We saw the sunset. It was beautiful. We got a couple pictures for you guys. Um, did a video. I just put it together. I'm not sure when I'm going to put it out, but you'll know because I'll be wearing this shirt today. Um, you'll be able to tell which squat video is from today by this shirt. <laughs> I talk you can always tell my hair and my shirts when a video was filmed. Because, yes, I do film a couple in a, in a day if I have the time and the energy. Because, you know, I, I work. I got other things I'm doing. Dogs to take care of. Moms to take care of. Um, bills to take care of. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, I just wish people could just be and be happy. Well, I mean, you can't always be happy. But you know what I mean. I feel like the world wouldn't be so darn depressing. If people weren't so full of hate. If people could just learn to love and accept each other. Like. For their differences. Instead of hating them for their differences. I, I'm. 
I think that's why Josh and I get along because we're both very like live and let live kind of people. And those are the kind of people we like in our lives. Yeah. You know? That's one of the reasons why I used to dress all crazy. Hold on. Oop, I don't know if that paused the video or not. Mom was calling. Uh, but it's still recording, so. Now that's one of the reasons I used to dress all crazy was to test people. And Come I, on over here. <laughs> I would open the, I'm the kindest, kindest person out there, but I look crazy. And I trick people out because of how I look. But I'm like, one of the kindest people you'll ever meet. With his back in the day, with his green mohawk and his big old spikes and, and chains and metal t-shirts, metal t-shirts and baggy pants. But I was, I did that for a reason to to make people realize that you don't need to judge a book by its cover. Right. I'm the kindest person you'll ever meet, but I look all crazy. <laughs> you want to grab a bowl? I think it's done. Uh, I think so. And mom's ready to eat, I imagine, since she's calling. Or since she called us. I forgot to turn it, turn it on airplane mode. Hopefully this is okay. I don't know. This is just a weird little creation that I threw together. So, we'll see. Hey, let that cool off for a minute. I'm gonna make mama <laughs> try to try to make it extra veggie fied for her. Maybe I should have put all the veggies in. <laughs> There's a lot of chicken. That's only two chicken breasts. That's crazy. I know, right? There's so much chicken. I'll, I'm like trying to grab just veggies, and there'll still be a couple pieces of chicken. Hi, mom. <laughs> there we go. Is that enough, you think? Yeah, that should be good. Okay. We'll let that sit there and cool down for a minute, but we're going to try it before you take it over. Um, yes. Put some extra cheese for the mama. And if anybody's like, ooh, you shouldn't be feeding her that much cheese. Mm. That's on what's constant. They're used to it. Life short. She's losing weight. She's getting better. Well, I mean, as better as she can get. Mm. Right? Right. <laughs> I'm that looks pretty good. I'm going to put a little. Why is it good doing that? Okay. A little bit of salt. You want to grab a fork or a spoon? I don't know. I think it's cool enough. I didn't put a lot in the bowl so it would cool down. Okay. Here. Let's get our picture. Money shot. Just blow on it a little first before you munch. Yeah. There you go. And I guess what this is called is Herb's, Herb's de Province Chicken. So, let's see what the verdict is. Going in. Has it got a good flavor or is it horrible? You can be honest. Does mm -hmm. it need more of salt, anything? Salt, pepper? No, it's... It's pretty good. And it's been marinating for two days, so I imagine the flavor's in the chicken pretty well. Yeah. And it's cool. very tender. Yay. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to grab a little piece so I don't, like, die of the heat. No, I'm just kidding. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. You can taste the lemon on mm -hmm. the lavender. I did put a little lemon in it. You okay there? Down the wrong pipe. 
Oh, a burp. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, I'm going to let you go. Till next time. And uh, if you have anything we, if you want us to talk about, just let us know below. Till next time, look out for the normal people.